Hello there, Magic Hello, welcome back to some Imperator playing Byzantian. We have declared war onto Apulia and Hellas. So, Hellas, Tyrus, and Apulia. Now, these guys have zero ships. These guys have zero ships. These guys are landlocked, so I won't use my navy. I've got lots of little armies here. I've got a mercenary force here. I'm going to sick them there. Good. These guys will just have to stand there. Um, who, who are... Trebela? Tr they, they... Why is there purple? Why is it purple? Oh, they're tra they're trading with me. Nice. Okay, that's fine. Uh, so I do kind of want to move my armies. Hmm. So I actually do kind of want my armies further to the west. So let's get these guys up here. There's Stratos, second Stratos. Oh, let's get these guys up here. I mean, they're not. They don't. How do they have 192 cohorts? That's disconcerting. That is extremely disconcerting. Okay, let's send more mercenaries this way then. Hello, Doomsday. What is up, my friend? How are you doing? That is distressing to me. Okay. Let's, uh, let's get more forces here, shall we? I am concerned by this. Extremely concerned. Let's send this mercenary force up to there. And we'll do the fort later. That's... that's worrying. I'm extremely concerned how they've managed to have that many cohorts. Okay, 80,000 of them are heavy infantry. 95,000 of them are archers. 58,000 of them are light cavalry. What in the shit is going on? How are they able to make money? It must all be retinues. Well, they must be disloyal, surely. They must be disloyal. They have to be. Oh boy, this might this might I might get a little bit of a pounding right now. Once we've done the north as well, I'm gonna rotate east and start gobbling up the rest of Anatolia. I'd really like to try and take some of that. Uh, I guess we're gonna just kind of gradually move up this way. Very gradually. And just wait until we see another army, I guess. At the moment, I don't see anything, so... These guys are gonna move to the cap. Oh, hi, 46,000 men from Apulia. Wow, look at that. That's a, that's a, that's a troubling, oh my goodness. Why, hello. You appear to have teleported here. That is troubling. <laughs> that is extremely troubling, okay. Um, wow, this is a problem. What kind of casualties are we looking at? Ow, let the soldiers have a do, it's fine. Actually equal casualties, oddly enough. Let's see if we can actually get our reinforcements over here in time. I bet you we can't. <laughs> All right, we have enough forces in the east now to forestall their advance. Let's try and get them moving rapidly. Okay. <laughs> oh boy. That is troubling. Oh, there's no roads here. Okay, so we did lose. Um, we killed 5,000. We actually killed more than they lost. So that's good. Oh. Oh, there's some SpaghettiOs getting out everywhere. Dead or imprisoned. Fantastic. Your crew gold arrears 60 gold per year until the day's paid off. Okay. Oh god, you're terrible. Oh god. Okay. Yeah, we definitely need to send more forces to the north. From the north to the northern north. Go, go, go. Yeah, okay, so my plan was to fight a two-front war. My problem is that it turns out there's like 8 billion soldiers here. Okay, 20 seconds. First. No. Goddamn. Alright, Armenian's governor. Perfect. Oh, 
Oh, this is going to be interesting. Ah, oh, damn it, they're on Phalanx. Uh, Phalanx is weak against envelopment and triplex ACs. Well, we can't have that, so Phalanx as well. Jesus. Maybe go up here, guys. Oh, it's okay. They're running to the planes. That's fine. They want to do that? That's perfect. Okay, good. Yes. Senate influence. Hello, Jetstream. What is up, buddy? Uh, yeah, I'm not sure if I can fight too f Oh, hell yeah. There we go. Okay, we can probably win this now. We've got a lot of troops ready. Um, I think we're probably okay. There's a lot of forces, obviously, fighting. But I very much would like... Ooh, I can colonize. Ah, uh, dominant culture, not Thracian. Lame. I mean, I do kind of want to, like, just start jumping on these guys, right? I want to do it before I hit too much AE. So were I to attack these guys, they would call in Egypt. I don't really want to fight Egypt. They have 150 cohorts and more money than, than God. All right, cool. Kamajanin. Kamajanin is there. Great. These guys will call in several hundred people. Here we go. If we attacked Cilicia, they would call in. Let's take a look. Cortadone. No one cares. Pemitflia. No one cares. Lycania. No one cares. And Seed. No one cares. All right, cool. There we go. Okay, we're fine. Here we are, here we are. We just gotta maybe fight this a little smarter than other things. We could start to hire some mercs because we still make a ton of money. Apparently I'm the board that comes to these games what do you mean doesn't speak to you? I said hi! God just stream God God <laughs> Alright, let's get some of that. Nice. What's your skill? Ten! Hell yeah! Alright. Let's fight this. Let's go right here into Sicilia. We gotta force Tretos. Let's recruit some more heavies. Great. Got mercs moving north, and we can hire more merc mercs if necessary. Uh oh, spaghettios. 30th of October, 20th of October. No. Yeah. Turned out for what? Here we go. We are victorious. Alright, cool. Let's get in this. Uh, so these guys are all mercenaries. Let's assign these guys a good general. You look okay. Perfect. Right, that's a good that's a good victory for me. Up there. You're gonna wait. Excellent. Good. Yeah, we gotta join in that as well, because that's hail, so it doesn't matter. We can we can we can defend that ourselves. This is going to be fun. I'm looking forward to just getting into a really unpleasant war that I can't win. It's going to be great. Okay. They are in skirmishing mode. Skirmishing is defeated by deception and triplex ACTs. So, shock it is. Bottleneck is depleted by skirmishing. So, shock it is. The 3rd of November, 5th, 6th. So, they have to survive for a few days on their own. And there is some wow we take a lot of casualties. Wow, that's a lot of that's a lot of bad boyness. Not good. Do we have enough forces to fight there? Perfect, perfect. Uh we'll just we know we'll take it as it comes. We'll take it as it comes. And we're gonna get tons of land. Oh hi Mark. <laughs> I need to stop that meme. It's not a good meme. All right, there we go. Perfect. We get the general bonus. Our general is better. Euthrictes Sharonid. Excellent. All right, double casualties. Oh, no. Barbarians. Stop it. 
Oh, I gotta watch out for that. I do have 15k here in the liar army. Let's put Phoenixios Alchemyid over there. And let's call these guys in. No additional defenders. Perfect. Okay. 19 Strategios. Autophrates. Perfect. Excellent. Get over there. They've only got 16 cohorts, so we should be fine. Good stuff. Just gotta play this carefully. So we are at war with a, just a big old mess of people. Let's get another Merc. Nice. And this lovely chap can move south. Uh, can you move south or can you go east? I feel like he might want to go east. No, no, we got six heavy infantry coming this way, so you can go this way. Awesome. This battle looks like it's a slam dunk. This battle's a slam dunk. Carnage. Whispered tales are told of the short, violent battles by Euthycrates Sharonid. In truth, our entrants fear him almost as much as others. He has gained the aggressive trait, giving him light infantry and camel discipline as well as martial. You're tearing me apart, Lisa. That's a nice reference right there. I love it. Killed 13,000. We did lose a several thousand. That's all right. A several. And they're going to rock up over here. So let's uh, let's send some mercs this way. You stay there. You stay there. And the rest of you go west. Perfect. And if they start moving over here, we can grab them because we have that fort, which is perfect. Um, where in the hell are you going? Get back here. We are victorious. Nice. So we're not at war of anyone here, so that's fine. These 15,000 are basically useless then. So what I might do is I might send my fleet to transport forces to the east. Uh, from the east to the west. We are fighting on a lot of fronts. A lot of fronts. It's going to be fine. Okay. Okay, another little victory. Sweet. Let's get these guys to this plane here. Actually, no, to this hill. Perfect. It looks like the majority of the forces are kind of clustered in the east here. So we're going to want to watch out for that. Ooh, sneaky boy. So we're going to try and chase them down a little bit and move south with those forces there. And now what we're going to do is we're just going to start little tiny sieges. Unfortunately, this is actually a normal army. So I'm going to have to just stand on this fort, sadly. There we are. Perfect. Small little battle there. We have an invention, heavy cavalry discipline. Now that is something spicy for me. And a tyranny reduction. Uh, tyranny is a slight problem for my loyalty and my primary culture happiness. So I might try and reduce that tyranny. Thank you. Sweet, a nice easy victory. Seek treatment, no. No, thank you. Okay, we're looking good here. Ah! I see. For some reason, they've managed to gather 97,000 men. Not really sure how that happened. The, the war is for Krobizia. Crap, we do not have Krobizia yet. Okay, um... That is not fortunate for me. I still make an obscene amount of money, so let's get this 19,000. Holy crap. That is a problem. Jesus Christ. Alright. Uh, <laughs> okay, let's get these guys here. You, you need to take this fort. You need to take that. Mercenaries are here. Great. You go there. Perfect. 
These guys will sweep around to the left. And yeah, we really need to just basically build a lot of forces here. Oh boy. This is going to be unpleasant. Oh baby. Okay, so there's Shock right now. Shock is beaten by Phalanx. Somehow they're taking, they're making thousands of casualties. This is extremely disconcerting. Okay, reinforcements are arriving. I really wish I'd built those roads. Like, really did wish, I do wish I built them. It is distressing how much I wish I built them. Okay. It's, it's not going good. All right, cool. Uh, <laughs> Tale of two cities, Bantian, sure, I don't care. Thing is, is that I have more manpower than they do. They have zero, so once I beat them, I can replenish without much of a problem. So it's gonna be more of a long-term conflict, this. That's fine. All right, boys, come on. Very easy victory there, good. Oh, boy. You go there. There's a lot of little threads going on right now. Unfortunately, we don't have roads here, so it takes like two years to get anywhere. Although, it's looking pretty good. And there's a billion reinforcements. Okay. Oh, dear. That's not going well. Oh, boy. The Russian strategy just overwhelm them with mass manpower. That is indeed what I am trying to do here. I put way too many forces on the eastern front. I'm going to shepherd these 15k over to the west. Definitely too many forces in the eastern front. Um, I still make an obscene amount of money, which is great. Um, I really do want to keep making sure I up, keep, go, keep up my manpower armies, though. I do not want to be relying on only mercenaries. Okay, another 37,000 men are coming this way. Okay, that's again, they have gone envelopment. Interesting. Envelopment is beaten by shock. Shock it is. Go, go, go. God damn, do I wish I built roads. Roads are important, guys. Don't neglect roads. Yeah, we don't have a problem here, basically. We're fine. As long as I keep an eye on what I'm doing, I should be fine. So you're actually trading with these guys, so it's actually not a problem. So we should be able to annex a really nice chunk of territory soon. Great. Sorry if I'm, like, darting around the screen too much, but I have to be. So the thing is, their general is... Un it's we're actually equal. Okay, cool. And the thing is, they still have light infantry. Look at that. So they're losing a thousand a time. Their light infantry is a serious problem for them because by having at least some light infantry, it means that those lines crumble. And also, archers are garbage. So, okay, something to, interesting to note. I was freaking out about their numbers. They actually have 105 archer cohorts. Uh, the majority of their army are archers. Archers take 25% more morale damage. Uh, this means they die. This means they die. So we're fine. Yeah, that means their morale just implodes. If you guys do enjoy my Byzantium stuff, by the way, make sure you do check out the Total War series I got going on right now. Lots of fun stuff there. So we were victorious. Uh, we lost... F oh, boy. So we lost 40,000 men. But we killed 49,000. So I'm down 20,000. That would tell me half of them were mercenaries. And it looks like they have tried to jump on me once again. And the Siege of Pito is one. Fantastic. Which means I will turn this soldier. Uh, where's the forts? To go and take that. To go and take that. And go take that. And the Siege of Cerebus is one. Fantastic. 
Is that a fort? It is a fort. Hooray! Keep, keep taking things. You're in a weird part of the world to be fighting the British Welsh. Tolton Tag, what's up, buddy? Welcome to the stream. I'm not fighting the British Welsh. I'm fighting the... I don't know what I'm fighting. I'm fighting the Hellas and the Apulia. I'm fighting... it. I'm fighting a lot of countries. I'm fighting eight at once. But this is how if you want... I'm not doing a world conquest, my mate. My, my, um, yeah, I'm not somewhat. I'm going to conquer as much as possible. Because people decided. So I need to try and eat up as much as possible. Judging by the archers, unless you're sure. Has, uh, you funny man. With that, uh, that comment, a very clever comment. I'm going to end this episode. Do be sure to leave a like and a comment in the video. Let me think of this series so far, guys. I was Algernon Continue to be and it's been Imperato playing Byzantium. Like I said, do check out my Total War Attila Byzantium series. Lots of really cool Byzantium gameplay. And I'm also doing a couple other Total War series as well alongside. Hope to see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.